So now we're getting towards the end uh, of uh, our applications of matrices. Yesterday we had a look at simultaneous equations and setting up those equations and solving them and also talk about um, if, they were, if there was a unique solution or many solutions and things like that. So this lesson is split into two parts and this is the area called transition matrices. Transition matrices and their applications. So let's have a look at a scenario here. A car rental firm has two branches, one in Bendigo and one in Colac. Cars are usually rented and returned in the same town. However, a small percentage of cars rented in Bendigo each week are returned to Colac and vice versa. The diagram be de below describes what happens on a weekly basis. So if you have a look at this diagram here, this B here represents Bendigo, this C is Colac. So if they're rented in Bendigo, that 80% of those cars return to Bendigo. If it was rented in Bendigo, 20% of the cars are returned to Colac. In Colac, you can look at the arrowhead, 90% that are rented in Colac return to Colac, and 10% of the cars rented in Colac return to Bendigo. So we've got two branches of this company uh, going on. So what does this diagram tell us? So from week to week, 0.8 or 80%, obviously guys, you know that 80% is 80 over 100, which gives us 0 0.8, of cars rented each week in Bendigo are returned to Bendigo, as in the diagram. 20% uh, of cars or 0.2% of cars rented in Bendigo are returned to Colac. So we're just reading what happened here, and what we're doing is just putting it in dot points. And then 10% of the cars rented each week in Colac are returned to Bendigo, so on and so forth. So all they're saying here is that we can actually set up a transition matrix like this, where we've got returned to and rented in Bendigo, Colac, 0.8. So look at this. Bendigo, rented in Bendigo, rented here in Bendigo, are returned to Bendigo, there, 0.8. Rented in Colac, returned to Bendigo, that one, then that one, and then that one. That's fairly easy. So it's just setting up those transition matrices for that. So we know that we have um, this matrix transition and T, capital T is our transition matrix. That's what how we denote it as a transition matrix. Describes uh, between two states. So we've got state one being the rental car is based in Bendigo and state two the rental car, rent, rental car is based in Colac. So in this situation where the total number of cars remain constant, the columns in the transition matrix will need to add to 100%. So if I go back to it, you can see here, that adds up to 1.0. This one, this column here. 1.0 giving us times it by 100, 100%. The column should add up to 100%, so you know that. Easy. <clears throat> Example. The diagram gives the weekly return rates of rental cars at three locations, Albury, Wodonga, and Benalla. So we're still sticking with rental cars. Construct a transition matrix that describes the week-by-week -week return rates at each of the three locations. Convert the percentages to proportions, so I put them into decimals. So they're saying get from this this diagram and put it into a transition matrix like so. So I look at Albury, Benalla, Wodonga. So it doesn't matter which way you go, but this situation here, they're saying Albury, Wodonga, Benalla like that, and we're just going to have AWB. So we've got re rented in, which is here for our columns, rented to. So, rented in Albury, returning to Albury, what do you reckon? 70%. So, I'll just write 70% in here. So, we know what we're doing. Rented in Wodonga, which is your W here, and then return to uh, Albury, which is that one there, and that's 5%. So, the 5% goes in here. Then you've got rented in Benalla, return to Albury, so rented in Benalla, there's your B, return to Albury, the arrowhead going to the A is that one there, and that's 12%. So you keep doing that until you set up your uh, matrix here. So that's 12%, then this one would be 10% um, in here, then you've got 80% here, you've got 11% there, you've got 20% here, you got 15% um, there, 
and the last one here is 77% there. And you'll notice that the columns all the way down, those three columns will add up to 100. So 70, 10 there, there's your 100, there's your 100, and there's your 100. And you know that you've done that correctly if the columns add up to 100%. All right, and then they're saying here put it into proportion. So divide them by 100, and you've got your decimals like that, and you've just set up your transition matrix for that situation. Fairly straightforward. So this is another example. A factory has a large number of machines. Machines can be in one of two states, operating or broken. Broken machines are repaired and come back into operation and vice versa on any given day. So now what they're doing here is they're giving you the dot points. Then guess what you've got to do? Construct the transition matrix to describe. You've got to draw a diagram here. So 85% of machines that are operational stay operating. 15% of machines that are operating break down. 5% of machines that are broken are repaired and start to operate again, 95 and so on and so forth. And we've got to set up the diagram for that. So at the moment, I've got operating, broken, and I've got start and end. So you've got operating and broken. There's your start here. I've got end, operating, and broken. I've got to fill out the information. So the first one, 85% of machines that are operational, are, oh, so that's OO. So I go to my OO and I put in there 0.85 or 85%, but we want to keep using decimals at the moment, right? So you fill them out. The ones that are broken and then I come back to operating is 0.05 like that, and then you just fill them out again. So operating broken here at the end um, is 0.15, but you know, these all add up to 100 anyway, so you can actually just work it out after you get your first one anyway, and they add up to 1.0 there, 1.0 in there. So these are easy to do. Interpreting transition matrices. So let's go back to our original question, which was about Bendigo and Colac and cars being rented in Bendigo and Colac and returned to Bendigo or Colac. So there's our original transition matrix. You've seen this, and you've seen this diagram, so it should be fairly straightforward for us to go through this. Now using this information alone, a number of predictions can be made. So for example, if 50 cars are rented in Bendigo this week, the transition matrix presents that, predicts that, not presents, pre predicts that. 80% of these, 40 of these cars will return to Bendigo next week. How do they get this? Well, they said to you, 50 cars are rented in Bendigo. So there's 50 cars. And what they're saying here is that if they're rented in Bendigo, 80% of those 50 cars are going to be returned to Bendigo. So if I've got 50 cars in Bendigo, returned to Bendigo, we know that 80% of those, so that's times of by 80% or 0 0.80, that'll give us 40 cars. So the 40, 40 of those cars are going to be rented in Bendigo, returned to Bendigo, which means... 10 of those cars are going to go where? Colac. So that's easy. So that's what happens when you start to introduce um, numbers involved with the matrices, the transition matrices. So uh, that's answering that type of question too. You know, if there was 100 cars, how many of you are going to find 80%? So it's going to be 80 cars there rented in uh, Bendigo, going back to Bendigo. The rest of the cars, the 20 cars, are going to be in Colac. So, easy. Right, next example. The following transition matrix and its transition diagram can be used to describe the weekly pattern of rental cars in three locations. So, we're using the same situation as before. Albury, Wodonga, and Vanala. Okay, so we've seen this. You've seen this diagram. Let's see what type of questions they're going to ask us. Use the transition matrix T and its transition diagram to answer the following questions. What percentage of cars rented in Wodonga each week are predicted to be returned to Albury, Benalla and Wodonga? Obviously, you just read off either the diagram or from the transition matrix. So looking at our diagram here, question again, what percentage of cars rented in Wodonga are going to be returned to Albury? Rented in Wodonga... Return to Aubrey, look at the arrowhead, 5%. Done. And that's your answer for that one, okay? So we know that it's going to be 0.5 or 5%. The answer is just down here for you to have a look at. The next one, Benalla. Again, looking at Benalla, 
rented in Wodonga, going to Benalla, the B arrow, 15%. And that's your answer for that one. So to go through this, guys, is just reading off that, right? Now we get to involved with uh, questions like 200 cars. 200 cars were rented in Albury this week. How many of these cars are going to be, so our big, our important number here is 200 cars. They're rented in um, Albury and going back to Albury. So you've got to go to your diagram. Rented in Albury, which is right there, go back 70%. So it's going to be 70% of the 200 cars. So it's 70% or 0 0.70 of 200 cars that's going to give me 140 cars so you answer your question like that so the next question rented in albury going to benalla 200 cars remember so go back to your diagram which is here rented in albury going to benalla is 20 percent so we know that that 20 percent of those cars 200 times 0.2 or 20 percent is going to give me 40 cars for that one and then the last one in that question, rented in Albury going to Wodonga. Uh, in the diagram, it said 10%. So, but I know we've got here 140, right? So we've got, remember this, we had 140, 40, that's 180. There's going to be 20 cars, isn't it? Right? 20 cars, it has to add to 100%. So we've already done two of those in that column. So that's easy to read. But if it was 10%, it's going to be 0.10. I don't know what happened there. 0 0.1 uh, times uh, 200, and that will give me my 20 cars as well. So fairly straightforward. I'm not going to go through the rest of these questions. You could go through that, and that's quite easy. So that is exercise 12C. I want you to do 12C1, all of them, and 12C2, the even questions. Or actually, you can just do all of them anyway, and we're done with it.